I've had my Doberman a few weeks now, and I have a love-hate relationship with it. Oh, him? Nah. That's a Bichon. This. This is a Doberman. A Doberman quadcopter from Detroit Multirotor. Stay tuned for my full review. That's probably good. Good boy. This is my Doberman 5-inch Stretch X Copter. It's made by Detroit Multirotor, and I really love this thing. I can get this flying through the gates on a dime. I can just drop down and get right in there. It's great. I got it with a little 20 by 20 stack. It's a very light build with some very heavy old uh, original uh, Emax 2205 motors. So let me tell you what I hate about it now. Well, a few weeks ago, I banged it into, I don't know, remember what, but I broke the bottom plate. Seems the little corner here got picked up somehow. It just delaminated, and this arm was kind of like in the air like that, and there's nothing I can do. So I had to like disassemble everything and replace the bottom plate. And then everything was fine. And then a few weeks after that, I crashed it into a gate and broke the arm. Now here's where I think there's the flaw in the Doberman. You notice the holes there. There's one side by side. You can see here, we have a hole here and a hole here. And it's not a lot of carbon holding it together. So when it hit the gate, it just tore out. The carbon just split right there. And, okay, I had to replace the arm. Not really a big deal, but who likes that? Then, last week, and you're going to see this. Watch this video. I ran about three-quarter throttle right into the gate. And what happened then is I sheared off the bolt. You see there's a black bolt that I replaced it with. It just sheared right off and that came out. This antenna got caught, ripped out, ripped out the, uh, the, the uh, UFL connector from my video transmitter, tore the um, 3D printed part there, which is I think just TPU. So I lost the transmitter, and this, well, now I have it held in with just washers because I'm too cheap to buy another one. And uh, I had to put a new VTX in it. So that's the third thing that I had broken. So the screw, the, the bolts could be tougher, the carbon could be tougher, and that's my problem with it. So here's what I decided. All right, three crashes, three strikes, you're out. The fourth one... I'm going to then take the guts of this and maybe some new guts and turn it into a floss too. And that's where I'm going to go because though I love this, these arms are $8 a piece. The arms for the floss are $12 for four. And by the way, here's something I wanted to pick up. Remember when I said how we have the bolts here, two on a side on the floss? And this is my theory. We have two down and there's a lot more carbon there than here. So I have a theory that this is going to take my types of crashes much better. And well, we'll find out if I'm right about that. Anyway, love hate, love how it flies, wish it was tougher. I beat my quads up. Oh, and by the way, I gotta tell you something else. You see this motor here? I hit so hard, the bell was warped. So, and I spent 15 minutes with a hammer banging on it. I took it apart and I'm banging on it. And I fixed it, and now it works great. And if it weren't for the thunderstorm outside, I'd be flying today with a full box of charged 4SL batteries. So hopefully there'll be blue skies tomorrow, and I can fly. Meanwhile, this is Joel Lightcatcher. Thanks for watching. I'll sometime soon. I'll see you in the air. Bye-bye. Oh, please subscribe and hit that bell. <sighs> This is my Doberman 5-inch Stretch X Quopter. Quopter?